Hey guys, it's Agent Over BHA here bringing you another updated video. So I mentioned in my uh, status update for the month that I was going to do an updated video on Watchtower for a couple of different reasons. One was the uh, Watchtower has moved to a uh, new repo on GitHub. So I wanted to make sure I had that information in there. And also, I know people have... Uh, requested how to exclude uh, certain containers or only include certain containers with uh, Watchtower. Specifically, uh, some people like to uh, wait on Home Assistant. Uh, they don't want to update it every time a new version comes out. They'll wait till uh, you know, the .4 or the .5 of that particular release comes out before they want to update. So hopefully this video is going to show you how to do that. Now they have a plethora of information uh, on their uh, GitHub page here about how to set everything up. So basically any questions you might have, this is definitely where you need to go to look. I'll make sure I have the links in the description below. And of course I will update uh, my GitHub page with the uh, Docker Compose uh, information as well. And I'll try to throw everything in the uh, description below as well. So let's uh, do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. It's not a whole lot to it, really. We're basically going to make sure that our containers are set up correctly. And I'll go into details why in just a second. And then secondly, of course, we're just going to install Watchtower and Docker. Uh, and we'll be using Docker Compose. So let's get started. All right, so all I really want to make sure you guys know is that the way Watchtower works is it's basically going to download uh, an image for whatever containers you have it monitoring, and then it's going to uh, compare it to the one that you already have and see if it's downloaded a newer version or not. If it is downloaded a newer version, then it's going to basically delete your container and rebuild it with the new image. Now, that's, that's all fun and great, but if you have your config for that container stored locally in the container, then it will basically erase all that and you'll be back to square one, which we don't want. So you want to make sure that you have your config stored in like a Docker volume for your persistent storage, where if you delete the container and add it back, you can point it at that same Docker volume, or you want to have it stored locally on your host machine where, uh, you know, like in your home directory where we store uh, our home assistant config and stuff like that. So as you can see here, um, my uh, Mosquito container has, uh, has a Docker volume set up for all of its configuration so that if it's blown away, it'll get added back. As well as, uh, let's see here, I think uh, my Unify controller is set up the same way. So it has its own... Uh, Docker volume for all of its config. That way, uh, if that one was to get updated, it would come back with the same configuration as well. If you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to shoot me an email with your config. We'll take a look and make sure it's set up the way it needs to be. So just uh, make sure you have it set up correctly in the way you need it to. Once you do that, then we'll uh, head on to the next step. We are ready to install Watchtower in Docker. Of course, we're using Docker Compose, so we're going to edit our Docker Compose.yaml file. I'm going to find an open spot down here. All right, so the name of my container, of course, will be Watchtower. And then, of course, for container name, I'm going to say Watchtower as well. set the restart to always. Now for the image, this is a contain RRR slash watchtower. Now we're going to add in some additional um, environment variables here specifically for us to be able to get uh, notifications or messages when our containers are updated. This is something you don't have to do, but I thought it was a kind of a cool feature to be able to get a text message if one of my Docker containers had been updated. That way, you know, maybe I could take a look at it just to make sure that it is running properly. 
and there weren't any issues with the update. So I'm going to add in all my information in here. Um, you have to use all of these fields and I'll put all this in the description below. I'm going to use basically my same uh, Gmail account that I use for my home assistant alerts uh, since I already have it set up to work properly. Uh, we're going to use the same one. It's going to ask for your from email address, who you're sending it to, the SMTP server that you're going to need or that you're going to use. Uh, your username for that particular account as well as your password. And then for volumes, uh, of course, we have to point it at our docker.soc. So it'll be a slash var slash run slash docker.soc colon slash var slash run slash docker dot sock. All right, so now command. This is going to be some added things we're going to add to the start of the container. So one is slash slash debug. Now I'm setting this to true. Not much is shown in the log files regularly. Uh, and I want to make sure that my watchtower um, container is running properly. So I am putting it in debug mode so that I'll get uh, much more detailed logs as to what it's doing. You don't have to do that. It's just an option. Uh, I like it that way so I know that it's running and everything looks good. The next option is dash dash cleanup. Now what this will do is it will delete the old images after it downloads a new one. It downloads a newer image than the one that you have and you're gonna, and it's going to use that newer image. It will delete the older one. It just keeps it from having a whole bunch of old images stored on your machine. Now the next part is just listing out your Docker containers that you uh, want it to monitor. So by default, if you don't list any containers out, it's going to monitor all of them. If you're like me and some of the other people that I know that have mentioned this, don't necessarily like to, to update Home Assistant right when the new release comes out. So by doing that, we'll just exclude Home Assistant. We're not going to list it here. We're going to list my Portainer, Dockermon, Mosquito, ADB, Tasmo Admin, Glances, Unify. List out all my other containers. Do not list Home Assistant. So basically, it will update all of those and it will exclude Home Assistant altogether. This way, we'll be able to update Home Assistant manually. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. Need to do a sudo docker compose up d for it to install the new uh, Watchtower container. And then we're going to jump over to Portainers to make sure everything looks okay. Let's see, click on Watchtower. Everything looks good there. It's got my command with all my additional steps in there that I needed as far as debug and cleanup and listing out all my containers. Everything looks good. Let's take a look at the logs. And you can see it's up and running. It is already scheduled its uh, first run. Everything looks good there. That's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Not a whole lot to the install. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered. Obviously, it wasn't much. We, uh, again, made sure that uh, our containers were installed correctly. And then we uh, installed the watchtower in Docker. That's the end of the video, guys. Again, I'll have this uh, updated in my YAML file on GitHub. I'll have everything in the description below. And of course, the links to the various Watchtower pages as well. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you don't want to have to keep manually updating your, uh, your Docker containers every time they get updated.
But again, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.